this process is actually a little bit easier if you're using SIS 360, which is this little tiny link here. Once you're in the 360, you'll see all of your courses listed here, and you will see all of the controls out to the right. You can get into attendance, grading, and report card grades if the window's open just by clicking the box in that column. You can also use the actions menu, which gives you further options. I'm going to click into gradebook, and you'll notice that on your scores tab, all of the grades are present. You'll also notice that your report card grades is a tab within the gradebook itself. Remember, you can get to the report card grades for a class by clicking here or in the Actions menu here. The first time in, it's going to ask if you'd like to import your grades, which will pull your regular percentage letter grades into the gradebook. Once that's done, you want to click into the Standards tab. And at this point, you're given an extra feature that is not in Classic. You can click All Students by Standard. This gives you a little better view of all of the standards with the students listed um, in a row. So it's quick and easy to pop the scores in as needed. However, you're also given some additional functionality as well. The Tools menu gives you an option to apply a mark to all students, all standards. So term one, give every student a three. Let's overwrite and save. Now I can go into those specific students whose marks need to be changed from the original mark. And maybe that will save me some typing. Uh, be sure as always to click the save button. And you'll notice there's a finalize button here, which you would click once everything is done. This submits your grades to the office for printing.